is Hugo and uh, I've been restoring uh, motorcycles full time for the last five years. Um, I've been actually involved with motorcycles for all my life. And I love every aspect of them, whether it's an engine, the body, suspension, um, the creativity the internal of the engine. Everything is beautiful and, and, and it's amazing. Jack uh, from um, Silverman Museum Racing one day called me and he said, Hugo, uh, I got a project for you. I want you to, to restore and finish this bike for me. So um, I said, what it is, Jack? And Jack explained me, I, I bought this beautiful Ducati 125 GP bike uh, is a twin cam V Alvero uh, engine, uh, which was raised by Willy Shade Hauer uh, in Germany during the mid 60s. Um, the bike uh, was uh, used and raised in, from 55 on, oh, 55, 66 uh, to early 60s. And during such time, um, the bike was um, uh, raised with a full fading dust bin. Um, uh, made out of aluminum uh, up to the time that was pro prohibited by the racing organizations. I like um, I like Ducati to know that you know it took us a really long time uh, to research and to recreate this bike back to what it was in, in the 50s. Um, it took us a very very hard work to get into all the details of the paint scheme. The, the the frame brackets, the all the the logos, and and to try to make this bike look exactly exactly the same as it was. So we are uh, expecting to have a big turnaround uh, in the next uh, show, which will be uh, Willow Spring and uh, Corsa Moto Classica. It took a team of specialized people to restore this bike. Uh, Dennis Merwood did the frame and the original painting of the bike. Jonathan White uh, did all the work in the engine and one of the most special work was done by Ivan Wilcox that he did the handcraft of the metal, uh, the aluminum metal body which is the dust bin. So I was basically in charge of putting all these things together and getting the, the bike ready for the next event which will be on Willow Spring Racetrack at uh, Corsa Moto Classica next weekend. and I was the previous owner of this Ducati prototype and I purchased it in about 1970 and had it and took it to a lot of races and shows and uh, we took it all over to Santa Barbara I took it back east to shows and everything and it's really really a rare rare motorcycle it started the whole beginning of Ducati and their Desmondroni this motorcycle is the most valuable motorcycle probably in the world. And it is a prototype that I have a letter from Taglioni that showed that it was a prototype, the first one made. And uh, it was raced by Willie Scheidauer of Germany. And Ger Willie Scheidauer won many, many championships on it. And uh, I uh, had it since, like I say, 1970, and we take it to many shows. And uh, we really didn't do anything to the motor; it was left like it was. And uh, see what I'm going to say. And it's one of the most important assets for Ducati, and I'm sure.
here at the Kite Horse, they had it at their museum, and I'm really happy that Jack Silverman has the motorcycle now. And when I had it, it didn't have the dust bed ferry, and they have the new ferry on it, and uh, it's just beautiful. This is actually the way, the way it, the way it was raised. And they they did an excellent job at restoring it. You know, it just probably better than it was new, and it's, but it's still like original condition. The restoration work was the best I've ever seen. And uh, I, miss, I miss it a lot, but it's in a better place now. It's, it's very good, and Jack did an excellent job on it, you know. It made me cry, it's so pretty, you know, it looks so nice, you know. I'm really happy I came here, especially at Little Springs, and to see the Ducati. It's just beautiful, it really is.